Do we then nullify the law through faith? Absolutely not. Instead, we uphold the law. The Epistle to the Romans, chapter 3, verse 31. When a believer is adopted into the Lord's family, his relationship to the old Adam and the law ceases at once. But then he is under a new role and a new covenant. Brothers and sisters, you are God's child. It is your first duty to obey your Heavenly Father. A servile spirit you have nothing to do with. You are not a slave, but a child. And now, inasmuch as you are a beloved child, you are bound to obey your father's faintest wish, the least intimation of his will. Does he bid you fulfil a sacred ordinance? It is in your peril you choose to neglect it, for you will be disobeying your father. Does he command you to seek the image of Jesus? Is it not your joy to do so? Does Jesus tell you, be perfect, even as your Father who is in heaven is perfect? Then, not because the law commands, but because your Father, your Saviour, asks of you. You will labour to be perfect in holiness. Does he bid his saints to love one another? Do it, not because the law says, love your neighbour, but because Jesus says, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. And this is the commandment that he has given to you, that you love one another. Are you told to distribute to the poor? Do it, not because charity is a burden which you dare not shirk, but because Jesus teaches, give to the one who asks of you. Does the word say, love God with all your heart? Look at the commandment and say, Ah, commandment, Christ has fulfilled you already, and I have no need, therefore, to fulfil you for my salvation. But I rejoice to yield obedience to you, because God is my Father now, and he has a claim on me, which I would never dispute. May the Holy Spirit make your heart obedient to the constraining power of Christ's love. Let your prayer be, Make me go in the path of your commandments, for I do delight to do so. Grace is the mother and nurse of holiness, and not the apologist of sin. Amen.